St. Marcus's current struggle to gain access to Malcolm X is really about providing high quality education to more children. The reality is, is that parents in our community and children in our community are desperate for access to high quality schools. The evidence of that are our waiting lists, which reach into the hundreds over the summer months. The urgency behind this issue is made evident today, ironically, in the British Broadcasting Corporation's article, out of London, England, no less, which has this headline, Why Does Wisconsin Send So Many Black People to Jail? The question is not why does America incarcerate so many black people, it's why does Wisconsin, our home state, and ultimately we know the answer to that question. It is a failure to educate children. The article says specifically, the state that locks up the highest percentage of black men is Wisconsin. The national average is 6.7%, but in Wisconsin, it's 12.8%, more than three percentage points higher than the second place state, Oklahoma. We believe that our community is outraged by the reality of the over-incarceration of African Americans in Wisconsin. We know as a community that the answer is access to high quality education. And so the real essence of the issue about St. Marcus's attempt to put children into school at Malcolm X is to provide more children with access to high quality education so that we can begin to dis destroy the cradle to jail pipeline that our community has tragically allowed to be created. That's what this issue is all about. The process for deciding that St. Marcus needs to expand was really based in the reality that we have invested $17 million on this campus in the past decade, growing the plant from big enough to serve 100 children all the way to 750. But the reality is, is that every time that we build, the classrooms are filled and we end up with long waiting lists. The community is clamoring for access to high quality education. So our school administration, our board of directors, and ultimately the congregation at St. Marcus looked at this issue and committed to opening a second campus simply to serve more children.